Hello there, good evening to you. It's looking pretty good actually for this weekend. Now it is getting to that time of year though where we have to make small compromises. We get two choices normally. It's normally cloudy and mild or sunny and cold. And we've had our fair share of the former recently. It has been quite mild this week, but we've had some gloomy skies. But the sunshine has been back with us for today. We've had some gorgeous uh, sunshine and we've got high pressure to thank for that. It is situated to the east of us. It's clinging on and it is going to be keeping this weather front away from us for a good while yet. So if you did miss out on that sunshine today, fear not, there's much more where that came from for tomorrow. It is looking like a beautiful day for us tomorrow. Clear, sunny skies for much of it. Now we did finally get rid of the cloud earlier on today. It did take a while but it was nibbled away at the edges so we've seen some beautiful sunshine to end the day and it looks as though we're going into a dry and a clear night. Now gardeners take note. We haven't seen figures like this for quite some time. Under clear skies, light winds, those temperatures will be plummeting. I think by dawn tomorrow morning some of us could be waking up to a touch of frost and I think many of us are going to be reaching for that central heating button for the first time this weekend. So a very chilly old start then to the weekend but a beautiful start to the day. We'll have clear sunny skies through the day and very little to spoil that sunshine into the afternoon. A beautiful day and temperatures will respond getting up to around 16 or 17 degrees so not looking too bad at all for tomorrow. Some subtle changes into Sunday. This weather front finally catches up with us but not much rainfall. Obviously we still need it but a bit more cloud on Sunday. Much more tumble though for next week. All change. Okay. Thanks, Kay.